Good morning. Welcome to Margaret Be Margaret. On this episode, <laughs> I feel like I'm doing episodes of comedy TV. Last time we spoke, I'm doing a recap. We um, we were outside doing a work, I think. I had talked about how I hadn't taken a shower, so that I really wanted to, after I finished the yard work, get in and take my long, warm shower. And I came in and I had no hot water. It's my life, Murphy's Law. And I said it to the universe that I hadn't taken a shower for the first time in 20 years. Yeah. So I got what the universe was putting out. I called my plumber and it was <sighs> Memorial Day weekend. So for them to come out, it would be $300. Even though they had just been here to put in the new system, they hadn't changed the boiler. And he was nice enough to call and say, text and say, check your boiler, there's a reset button. So I went down cellar and sure enough, the boiler was off, <clears throat> hit the reset button and hallelujah, hot water. Very grateful. Got up this morning, get ready for work. Luckily I took that shower late last night. <sighs> no hot water. Let me show you what I found. First, you know where we're going. Uh, dungeon. All right, we're going down. I have lakefront property. <laughs> Look at, why? Can you see the beautiful little red lights on the boiler? Yeah. And I pressed the reset. Now, why? Why is my life like this? All right, let's. Let's move away from the lake front and go back upstairs. Luckily, let me get my cup of tea. Luckily, so many calamities in my life that you know how most people would call a plumber or a boiler person? Yeah, I don't. I call mine, my plumber, my boiler people. Because they're out here so much, They're kind of like a call, I think. I called the boiler guy this morning, about half an hour ago, left him a message, and he called back. Don't even have to introduce myself or remind him who I am. And I told him I have lakefront property. He said, leak? Give a leak? I said, no, I have a lakefront. He is busy all day installing a brand new boiler for somebody and he was nice enough to say when he gets done with that between four and five tonight he's going to stop out and see what he can do about mine or I'll be taking cold showers which is doable I don't understand you know I always joke and say I must have been a horrible person in my last life because Connor is kicking my butt. It was funny because when I, when Steve called me back, that's, I'm sorry, that's my, my boiler guy's name. When he called me back and I said, good morning, he said, well, you're still smiling. What am I supposed to do? The universe really comes after me. Luckily, when you've lived this way all your life, you can kind of roll with it. I got my water for the day because I have to leave for work shortly. It's the other thing, having your own people all the time. He said, um, well, I'll be over after work. And I said, I won't be here. Let yourself in. I think that's awfully special that I can trust my tradespeople, my tradespeople, enough to just let them go in and out. And if they had to wait for me to be here, nothing would ever get done. I already took, did my inhaler. This is my GERD medicine. It's at the time of these capsules, but you remember, I can't swallow pills because of the stricture in my throat. So I have to open the time release. 
the doctor does know. Then my other prescription, it's just a tiny, tiny bit of gabapentin. I mean, not even a fourth of a teaspoon. And that hopefully is to calm my throat down so I can swallow. This is <laughs> just about empty uh, vitamin D. I don't take any other vitamins. Vitamin D, my folk fry blood from Whole Harmony in Connecticut. It's just all natural vinegar and horseradish and you name it. I swear this is what keeps me healthy or healthier. And then a tiny bit of elderberry, elderberry calm. It has, it's all natural. And this also is less than half a teaspoon. Hopefully it makes me mellow. Can you tell how much it works? I can tell my stress level's up today. First thing in the morning, I never eat. And today it's a bagel and cream cheese day. Or maybe I should say cream cheese and bagel day. Strawberry cream cheese. And I can make this last, because I have to chew so long for an hour with my cup of tea. And then I am ready for my day. Last night, I was looking for something to eat for supper. <clears throat> And I know I need protein. I had boiled some eggs to put in salads, but I didn't have, wasn't in the mood to make any kind of salad. My sister mentioned a while back, have I ever had deviled eggs? Which I've seen a million times at functions and stuff over the years, but you know, eggs and I, I know what they are and my stomach revolts and I don't like the taste of the yolks, but she, told me what, you know, that it's mayonnaise and <laughs> I like mayonnaise, it's fattening. <coughs> Excuse me. I took three of my eggs, made a deviled egg filling and had that for dinner. It was not wonderful, <laughs> but I didn't gag, which to me is a sign of a successful meal. So I had protein for dinner with a little mayonnaise so that I could feel like I was still fat. Yes, Miss Parker, hi. Good morning. Hi, wish I could pick you up. I'd show everybody that you're talking to me. But the minute I put the camera down, can you come over here? Hmm? Can you come over here so they can see you? What? I know I love you too. I do, I love you too. Oh, pretty girl. You have a pretty girl. While I'm over here, you know what I've been doing a lot? Where is it? For my under eye bags. <laughs> I've had this for a couple of years. I keep it in the freezer. It's a roller. Oh my God, it's, it's so cold. Gosh, I wish I could roll this fat out. I'd like to see if it took the bags out. I don't know. I do this every morning. Normally, I get it out of the freezer. I'm still in my robe when I get out of the shower. I sit on the kitchen floor and roll myself like a pie dough for just a minute or two. And then the, the PA still resistance is getting up off the kitchen floor when, where I was sitting Indian style. Politically incorrect, huh? but I get up without holding on to anything. That's how I know I'm gonna have a successful day. Going into work today to do a repair job. Woman came in the other day. Now, they told me that she is cuckoo. Wish I'd taken a picture with, you know, over bleached hair, wanted it darkened with some of the pieces of yellow, yellow, not blonde, um, still in between. We did a dynamite job. It was I worked with my new staff person. It looked so nice. She loved it. She left with a bounce on her step. I left very proud of my new girl because she was she did a good job. <sighs> Two days later, the woman calls. She hates it. It's too dark. It's black. It has no highlights. 
I'm just looking for something for attention. But she's coming back in today, and I told her we'll throw in a couple of foils. So I'm on the warpath because I hate when people do this. Uh, I don't mind when there's a real concern, absolutely. But when you're doing it just for, excuse me, shits and giggles, yeah. So I figure I'll throw in five or six quick foils and send her on her way with a sweet little thing about how that's the only time she's going to get something free. I'm really thrilled about doing something free when I have a boiler repair to think about. Time to wrap this up. Had my bagel and my cup of tea. You know I'm serious about getting ready for work. This is the clue. Earrings on. First thing I take off when I get home. Last thing I put on. And I changed over. Have my heels on. But I've got to show you this. I just went in the bathroom to brush my teeth. Wipe down the sink while I'm in there. Oh, it just doesn't end. It just doesn't end. Hold on. Lifted out the drain thing to clean it. Dropped the top part down into the drain. <laughs> Margaret being a Margaret. Thank you so much for stopping in and visiting. Hope you have a wonderful day. Hope you watching me makes you more grateful for the day you're having. Remember, life can always be worse. I'm grateful for the life I have. Thank you for visiting. Please come back again. If you like it, subscribe, share. Have a good one, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.